Gonna give them a try. We're going in. Out of the oven. Okay, so it's a little busted. Oh, he's tired. Well, we're tired. We woke up and we've been working doing some stuff so it is a cinnamon pumpkin roll not cinnamon no duh there's cinnamon and there's pumpkin pumpkin spice pumpkin, spice pumpkin roll i mean cinnamon roll <laughs> let's give her a try i love cinnamon rolls and we both love them i think i think we'll like it it does smell like pumpkin spice and it's even kind of orange instead of yellow like mm -hmm. they normally are so are you okay. ready okay let's go <laughs> Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Good. Mmm. -hmm. Does it taste like? Does it taste like Starbucks and a cinnamon roll? Kinda. Of. Yeah. The first bite has a lot um pumpkin spice flavor, but then after that, it just tastes like a normal cinnamon roll. So it's really good. I do, I love it. I rate it a ten out of ten. Same. If you can't try this one, cause it's not for you. Where are you going, girl? Uh, surprise, we're going to Is it Disney week? Yeah. Disney day. Disney day. That's cool. So what color are you going for, girl? Pink light one. Here is the new braces. I got a lavender-y, light purple-y. It's cute. Last time I got like a teal. No, it wasn't teal, was it? What's your favorite color that you've got? The only colors I have gotten has been pink, blue, and purple. So I had a lot of options that I like at least. So my favorite I think is purple. I think or pink. I like the hot pink. That one's cute too. You about to go back to school. It took forever. They did. She I think she was new. She was checking everything she was doing. Yeah. Like, they like almost messed an hour a couple there. things up. It's normally there like twenty minutes. We're getting back into consistency, kind of having some balance. So from five to eight, we do a family activity. Last night, it was game night. We had Splatoon. We also did our nails. And this time, it's arts and crafts night. So what we have is projects that we started that we did not complete as options to pick. Or we have Halloween items to be sure that we do. Maybe put her on the house or send a family. So we're going to choose and also some of them are do-overs like we hate them like that guy is scary what are you working on jay you chose him he's almost finished what do you got left to do on him the other side he's beautiful of course halloween town is on while we're crafting halloween town high here is what i'm doing it's this little hippo sun catcher thingy and I started painting him, but I think I'm going to go over because it's still pretty see-through. Just an overview of the finished products. The girls got the dog involved. Here's the first thing they made with a little happy Halloween Iggy. They are pumpkin paw prints. She started with this one with her handprint, mixing some Halloween colors together, and decided to throw a little dog handprint on there too with happy Halloween. The leftover color she had from that, she ended up making this and is going to go back and attach Happy Halloween on this at some point with a different color. This was Keegan's. She got this at the Dollar Tree. It originally came with markers mm, or something so. like that. Yeah. And she went with paint, which I really love. It really stands out. This is her sun catcher. She decided to go paint with this one. When I say you have no idea how long this took, you really don't. Not only attaching these little things, making the inside white, but then they sold out of these little pom-poms, thanks to me, and I had to wait, what was it, like three months? Yeah. For them to come back. I thought it was just a chalk up, but hey. What was your favorite craft you did? My hippo. It yeah. was easy and cute. I like your pumpkin, but I like them all. What about the one with the dog? Oh yeah, my favorite one with Iggy. This one has Dre's hand. Uh -huh. This one. We made her little paws into pumpkins. Uh huh. That was I cute. Like that. All right. What are you? How are you signing off today, girl? Toodles.